is it all right if you're on a mountain tied to someone else and the person below you falls off the mountain accidentally and maybe becomes unconscious do I cut the rope to save my own life or do I just hold on as long as I can is it murder or is it not now some commentators argue well it is different because in that case the mountain climber is directly imperiling your life they are in a sense pulling you off the mountain. It's closer to self-defense in a sense. Others argue that what they were doing was giving up on saving that particular person. They were saying we can no longer save you so I'm not actually killing you, I'm just giving up on saving you. Personally I don't agree with those arguments. An analogy would be jumping into a lifeboat. If we all jump into a lifeboat together and it's too heavy, can we just toss someone off and say bad luck, the boat's a bit heavy so we're going to toss you off and you're going to drown for sure and we can save our own lives. What's the difference between that and someone on a mountain being cut off when we've gone off rope together? We've agreed, we have a contract, we've agreed that we're going to save each other's lives and do whatever we can. The moment I cut you off, it's like throwing you off the boat. I have deliberately, in that sense, decided that your life is less important than my life and therefore um, I have, in a sense, done what the judges said, I've sacrificed your life for my life. And what the judges said in Dudley and Stevens was, the highest duty is to sacrifice your own life. Now, it might seem very strange, but at the end of the day, we should both go off the mountain together because we've gone up the mountain rope together.